So my name is Nate Small. Uh, I've been expedition leader for about six years now and expedition guide down here in Antarctica for over 11 years. A trip to the Antarctic Peninsula is going to be mind-blowing. There's no doubt about that. Uh, a trip to South Georgia is going to be walking through a BBC documentary. It is just that extra level of astonishing, unbelievable, it's impossible to really describe it unless you've been there uh, kind of experience. Um, when you walk up and over a ridgeline and there's 100 to 200,000 king penguins laid out in front of you all calling like crazy looking for mom or dad or whoever, it's, you just can't replicate those sights anywhere else in the world really. Um, it's, South Georgia really is quite a stunning place and you, you don't quite get that same level of wildlife in the Antarctic Peninsula. It's different in the peninsula, but in terms of just sheer mass of wildlife and landscapes, South Georgia is very unique. South Georgia has a variety of different wildlife in comparison to the Antarctic Peninsula. So the peninsula you're talking mainly your Antarctic species of penguins, your Adelis, Chinstraps, uh, Gentoos moving in en masse in the Antarctic Peninsula. Uh, once you get into South Georgia, you're talking about king penguins, you're talking about ducks. Um, albatross numbers are just enormous in, in South Georgia and you can go and Zodiac cruise some of the sites like Elsahul where there are albatross just flying everywhere. You definitely get a very different experience with the wildlife in South Georgia than what you get in Antarctica. The trip to South Georgia, you will have a lot more sea days uh, just because it is quite a distance to get out to South Georgia, but that does also offer you more time to do birding from the back of the ship. Uh, when out at sea, you'll often have a lot of birds flying around the ship or following the ship. A uh, good chance of seeing whales out in the open ocean, which is always quite nice. And uh, the particular route going to South Georgia and then down to Antarctica, that often puts you on the path of very large icebergs, big tabular icebergs, uh, which is quite a sight to see. You don't typically get that with your standard trip to Antarctica. Despite South Georgia costing a bit more with time and money, it is well worth uh, the adventure. It's well worth heading out there. The sites that you see in South Georgia are unique to South Georgia and they're, you just can't replicate them anywhere else in the world. So well worth the time and money.